All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. In today's video, we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm sitting quietly because usually, or not even usually, but sometimes when I open the game, it just like starts a whole uh, dialogue thing going. But uh, it didn't do it this time. So, I mean, that really doesn't mean any. That really doesn't mean anything for y'all. It's just gonna. I'm just gonna cut the silent bits. I was tempted by this one, but I think I'm gonna take three days off of our master crafted shotguns instead. So we can get that extra damage going, because right now we have two people on the team. And then if we have time, we'll go straight into the protect the food supply mission. I think that's the I think that's the move on this one. Right now we have pretty low um pretty low unrest in all of our locations except for the stacks. And then obviously switch yard which has this mission. I still have this one reduced to the anarchy. And at this point it's going to come down by two. Because I have a rank two field team on every uh, district. So it comes down by two. And then on every district it will come down by three. So if I have a, a third level on every one of them. It will come down by three. But since we only have one. It should be fine to let it take over one more. So we're going to go straight into this mission. I don't think I have anything to reset. Or, uh, I think I left everything blank from last time. That way I didn't have to do anything when I come back, came back this time. So we're going to go ahead and do the master crafted shotguns and then go straight into the next mission after that. The uh, story mission. Do I have anything I can give her? Only a ceasefire grenade. Maybe I should. Let me. Let's see. Do we have any other utility items that we can buy? Breach grenades. Miscellaneous. I guess I can give her a med kit. Uh, that's the only thing that would really make sense to give her, too. Yeah. So I guess I'll buy a med kit for her. That way we can fill her out and have everyone... Oh, never mind. Oh, he's missing a breach item. That's really fine, though. Breach items are necessarily necessary for everyone. Although if I do buy a breach item, that means we can have everyone fully kitted. How, much, how many credits do I have? I should have enough credits to buy a... A, a breach... Uh, medi patch, right? Or target analyzer. I think I'll do the medi patch. That we can get some extra healing at a door too. Yeah, so that's how we'll do it. So now we have enough stuff for everyone to do something at the breach instead of just standing there, or at least do something extra at the breach. Hostile swarming your position. Get our friendly VIP to the evac. Mm-hmm. All right. So we've done missions like this before. Last unit through this entrance will be rooted for one turn. That means that Zypher is going to go through last because she cannot be rooted. Uh, I said Zypher last. Godmother, then Zypher. Do we have any Medipatch? No. Oh, she has the Hollow Scanner. Hmm. We can have Cheryl be rooted for one turn instead of Zypher. That way she can use the medi patch, or not the medi patch, the hollow scan, which will give a, which will mark all the present, well at least not all, but most of the enemies Keep that are present, me. and we're fine Throwing with grenades. Cherub not moving for the first turn. Alright. So, let's see what we're working with here. He's surprised, so we don't have to worry about him, but I do want to do some damage to him, that way he can't come back and immediately, uh... Will this kill? I don't think it will. But that way he can't come back and give everyone a shield because that'll make this whole mission that much more difficult. Uh, who's... The commando is going to shoot, but we don't have any good angles on them, so there's no point in wasting the shot on them. Let's go for the bruiser. Alright. And then you can take your shot on the android. And he's going to be rooted for one turn, which is also fine because he has his shield, which gives him... Um, have cover wherever he stands all right and then on her next turn she's gonna take him out as long as she goes she goes first eyes on vip head for the evac okay where's the evac at too let's see so the evac is way over here that's not too bad overall i, I don't think at least we can th drop a frag grenade no one's gonna hit two people so there's no point at least not yet let me get the camera right so go ahead and have him psych up. Who wants some? Can you reach anyone with the smash? You can reach them to do three to six. But that'll leave you kind of exposed. Who's number Okay, yeah, this this is actually fine. We'll do it from this angle. That way he gets cover. 
Hello? No. Smash. Click. There we go. That way he gets cover from at least that side of the map. She's probably going to take out the Guardian on her next turn. That's fine. Disorientate. Can't remember what that does. I think it makes it to where their aim has a penalty. And then she... Or he? What is this? Is this a girl or a boy? Can't tell. So they're going to go right up to here. And then hunker down. We're going to move them as far as possible without... Um, Putting them in immediate danger. Yeah, okay. See, they missed. That should have been a 100% chance, but they missed because of the dis disorientation. And actually, I can take them both out right now with this. And then put her into cover right here. So we'll do that. So we'll bring down the Guardian and the Commando with this one move. This is probably. This is not even probably. It's one of the best abilities that I've gotten from this. And then now she can go into parry right after that too, so I'll let it help. So we have a Ronin up there, which I think I'm going to put Godmother into Overwatch for. If we can't get a shot on them. Put her right here. It says that doesn't get... Oh wait, that side doesn't offer cover from anyone, I think, anyways. I'm going to use Ventilate on them. I throw an Acid Grenade on them too. Yep. Throwing grenade. That bounce pretty high. And now we're going to use Ventilate to hopefully kill them straight out. Because we know they do a lot of damage if we let them stay up. So this can do 6 to 10 damage. Okay, that's not bad damage. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Acid's going to kill them on their turn anyways. So we got away with that. I think he's still rooted for his turn. So we use Lightning Cans here to take a shot on them. And take them out. Got my target. And then you can give a kinetic shield to the VIP. And it's kind of annoying because we have a chance to move, make, to get a lot of ground covered right now since there's no one in here. But I guess we'll just overwatch over here just in case Keeping Chad doesn't get a turn and, and before they start sending in more enemies. He will. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, we'll have you psych up again. Ready for action. And then, where are they going to come from? One's going to come from there, and one's going to come from behind us. So we'll move, we'll move Axiom up to this point, and have him watch in this direction. I think they come in, no, they don't come in inside of the truck on this mission. I think in the last mission, or the last episode, we had people coming in from inside of those trucks. So like, they ran in through the back of a truck or something like that. It was very weird how they came in. I'm fine with moving them that distance without... Why did that blow up? I don't think I don't think anything now hit that necessarily. Alright. Um She's gonna move up to here and she's really just waiting for someone to come in. She can't really do much right now, so we'll also put her in preparation. That way she gets her turn sooner rather than later. Who is this? Godmother? You have the free reload. Reloading. And then we're gonna put you into Overwatch watching this direction. That way Cherub isn't back here alone. Once he gets his turn. She doesn't really have the best angle because of this uh, bus station, I think, is what we're inside of. And then you can give a kinetic shield to yourself since you're so far back. And then uh, start moving up to... I guess this point will be fine. He does have a mobility increase also from his uh, training, which we spent a long time training him too. So that's pretty good. That came through late. He did his little... Uh, his guardian thing or when he gets behind the shield after they started coming in okay so want to ask him again you can psych up and maybe we'll actually see the shockwave this time because last time the, the shockwave didn't do anything like it had them marked as if they were going to take the damage but they didn't Hello, so this neighbor. should actually do something we're watching this one to see if it actually works or did Hostile i did i not get that move after shock Every smash to apply a small amount of. Never mind, there it goes. Reflection. Damage to nearby That's enemies. Some tough armor. I can okay. try cracking it open. Alright, so we got our two melee experts in here too, which is pretty good actually. Smash the hostile. And then you can go to right pretty much right back to where you were. Actually, maybe right here, that we have better Fast cover. 
since you can only really get things that get close to you. And this is gonna get our VIP to safety and out of here. Now we just have to work on getting Cherub and Godmother over to the exit. I think both of them have pretty high mobility also, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah. We'll be able to dash them both over. Shifting. Since we have no enemies and no one's about to come in yet either. We took out all of that last group of enemies pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, we'll put them, put them right Heading here. Over there. Can everyone reach the exit? I think Cherub should be able to reach it from there. So we're going to start taking people out instead of overwatching these positions. The only one who might not be able to make it is Cherub. I don't think there's a point in healing her because it doesn't actually mean anything overall for if she was wounded or lightly Changing wounded. Position. I think it just changes her combat health. At least that's what I've been noticing. Yeah, he's going to make it too. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? I had a feeling that was going to happen at some point. <laughs> that's not too oh, bad, yeah. though. It looks like... Well, I don't know if Cherub was going to get his turn right now. I don't think so, but... It still has him at one, so we'll fix it now, basically. That wasn't as bad as it could have been, so... We have nothing really to worry about there. That's a nice little quick mission. And what do we get from this? We got the time on the master crafted shotguns uh, down, which I think that should be done now because it'll be, it said four days. This took off three and then we already, this also passes a day. So patchwork unlocked potential. City Anarchy is risen to two. Riverside is risen to one. Cherub has a, a promote agent. So using charge bats to render an enemy unconscious refills one charge or allies with kinetic shields gain plus 15 aim hmm we do end up a lot of times getting people with a lot of people with these shields but being able to keep the charge up does increase the damage overall that cherub can do using charge bash to render an enemy unconscious refills one charge and his max charge is three i think we've, we've been doing better at getting people shields then we have been you actually using a shield bash so i think this will work better it gives more benefits to giving out the shield than just uh you're going right back into basic training than just the um protection makes it that little bit more useful so we have two days left on this now and this is the only mission that we have to do we'll also use this to bring down the city anarchy by two Right. I don't think we necessarily need to do that yet, though. So we have Neonate Chrysalid, Sacred Coil plants to hit at Water Treatment Plant. If they do so, the Endangered City 31's food supply, stop them before they cause the lasting damage. We need to keep that food on the table. Uh, that's a weird little way to end it, but whatever. Alright, the Scavenger Market. Ooh, I do have a decent bit of intel, too, so maybe I'll actually be able to get something from here. What is this? Uh, an Invasion Air Shotgun designed... Uh, the grants rapid fire ability I don't know if I need this though let me see let me look at my people he has load out he has an enhanced shotgun you have uh, a, a special shotgun there's no we don't have any special SMGs we have a few special pistols she has the special um, assault rifle and yeah okay I guess we could get another special shotgun, especially since we're ha gonna have the mastercrafted shotguns. And we do frequently have two people on the team with them. So, I don't think that's necessarily a bad use. So this is now a critical mission. Uh, probably because it's gone to red. Um, so yeah. Send a PC. forces may try to sabotage infrastructure, damage crucial tech, or demolish evidence of their activities focus on any hostile attempting to destroy what you're there to protect hold fast and outlast their assault okay so it looks like we're gonna have to deal with an onslaught in this mission which i think we have a pretty good team for dealing with the only thing that could have made this team better is having terminal instead of maybe axiom or uh zephyr 
because of her healing abilities. But overall, I think we're fine here. So, we're gonna go ahead and get back out there then. Two encounter projects, two projected encounters, encounters projected. I guess they mean the same thing. Uh, okay, cool, I should still have time. This water treatment plant is vital to City 31's vertical farms. Why Sacred Coil wants to sabotage it is anyone's guess. I thought all farms were vertical. Classic farms are more horizontal. Crops for acres. Those horizontal farm buildings must have been immense. Oh my no, goodness. No buildings. It was all open to the sky. Food? Outside? The old world was so strange. That's funny, because he definitely wouldn't understand that. Vertical farms are the way of the future, too. I mean, it makes more sense. More space efficient. All units entering to this group, plus three mobility for one round. Units through here will activate Overwatch after the breach. I'm going to send everyone but... Um, oh, and he gets the roar. Although it doesn't really help because we usually only get this on the first turn and not later in when his uh, rage will be higher. I guess we need to... When he starts leveling up more, we'll be able to do more with him. That gun looks way bigger in his hand than it does in Godmother's hand. Like It looks way... Like, just the size and the weapons that they get. Cherub. And then Zypher's going to go in with the plus defense. The mobility isn't really an issue that we have to worry about for Zypher. Zephyr. All right, we definitely want to take them out. <coughs> we definitely want to take them out first. Yeah, we got a crit on it too. Do we save? No, because we don't want to potentially not kill because his pistol doesn't do as much damage as everything else. And who else is in here? A commando? We might be able to take them out now. All right, cool. And then who can you go for? You can go for the Ronin or the Terry. Let's go for the Ronin. I don't know what their alert ability could be, though, is the only issue. But it's kind of funny to punch the dude who has knives on his hand. I forgot her thing does, doesn't have that high damage. That's annoying. Yeah, I think in her case, we definitely took the wrong path for that one uh, ability. Everyone's in Overwatch. I should have had Zypher's turn go first instead of uh, second. All right, Psycho. On the edge. And then you can use Smash on them. There was 65% chance to hit, which is kind of weird, honestly. Hello, but anything over 50%, I'm pretty okay with, honestly. A critical hit that didn't have the armor. And then he he just rolled low for damage too is another issue. You're gonna shoot him or blow up? Okay, the shot is... Uh, I, I'm fine with it, actually. His rage just went up again, too. Alright. They're gonna go second. Um, We can use Ventilate on them to take them out. Potentially. I can't... Three... Uh, they might not die from this. But I think it's gonna be better than... Or we can use... We can use an Acid Grenade, too. Yeah, I think the acid grenade combo again would be good here. We also have to stop the hostage taker. Throw so maybe grenade. dropping the acid grenade on them. Because then they'll be taking damage uh, while they're standing it too. And then use ventilate on the Ronin and see if we can take them out. Almost took them out. I think if they try and move though. Zyver's gonna hit them unless she misses her uh, sling. Okay, that's annoying. Lightning reflexes. So they had ability. Oh, don't miss. All right, cool. Target that works down. out. Everyone was in Overwatch too. I forgot about that. Or at least everyone who didn't take a turn yet was in Overwatch still. I could shoot at this, and then I can use lightning hands on this. Let's give a shield to. Okay, we can't see anyone. Hmm, okay, let's move up here. Then we'll use lightning hands, which doesn't take an ability to shoot at the turret. And then we're gonna give a shield to uh, Zephyr because she's marked by the turret, which means the turret is more likely to shoot at her. 
also is more likely to hit her if it does shoot at her also anyway so and well i guess the plus 15 aim doesn't really mean anything for her but yeah we predicted that correctly which made it, made, it was pretty obvious though because it's marked down basically saying yeah i'm gonna shoot you in my next turn kind of i guess um okay who has that? I don't think she does. Uh, not you. You are the one we want to punch. Does four to five damage. Fracturing. And they will also do an effect. What is that effect? What effect did they get? I have momentum. I'm going to turn on parry since we're right in their face. And they died from the... Uh, whoa. What did they run out to? I guess the, host the hostage is saved. Yeah, okay. The hostage is saved. We use psych up again. Who wants some? So now we're up to three, and then we're going to smash. Yeah. Popping over. Oh, didn't know I had changed the position. Don't miss. Okay, cool. Oh, you're gonna blow up. Forgot about that. That's on me. My fault. My fault. Need to drink some water. My throat's kind of dry. But I just drank the last of my water that I have next to me. Oh, that was a waste. Uh, let's use running gun. Clearing a path. And dash all the way up to this thing. Just to take it out and make sure that it's out instead of having to potentially deal with it later. But yeah, the reload was probably a waste. Well, I guess it would simply use run and gun right after. It's not as much as it could have been at least. Hmm. Security feed shows a bunch of sacred coil ahead of you. That's a lot of pipes, so careful where you shoot. Always okay. wanted to go bowling. Never thought I'd be the ball. Interesting. I don't really get that one from her. Uh, and a beach will stun, will crit. Okay, we're gonna send again Zypher through this one. She doesn't really crit though, because she doesn't do anything. To, so that's what shots will crit. So she doesn't do anything during the breach. But his rage is pretty high, so it might actually uh, panic. We'll use the Medi Patch here too, since uh, he took so much damage. Uh, burst through a door dealing breach point with a chance to panic. Nearby enemies panic chance increases with rage. Time to move. Keep behind me. All right. Anything panics. Okay, you're aggressive, you're alert. I don't know what alert really means for them, but we will crit if we hit them. So we'll take out the Neonet Chrysalid if, uh, when we hit them. The Commando, well, I mean, this is likely to hit. All right, 80% chance to hit that Neonet Chrysalid. We don't really want to hit that Chrysalid though, because we know Zypher's already finna take it out. So we might as well spend all of our shots on not that neonate chris lead and instead other stuff the ronin might be a good thing to take a chance shot on but i don't really think so we we'll use alpha strike which will bring her up in the turnover order and we take them out okay melee stance okay interesting they're alerts so they're probably gonna mark someone if anything is in range sacred coil reinforcements en route Keep them from draining those tanks. Clear the tank. Let's crack open a few more shells. What do we have to do here? I guess this is just gonna be on the whole time. All right, you can take them out, or we can try and. Okay, you're seventh in line. That other one is eighth in line. So we'll do this one instead. Splintering. Okay, that's fine. It's done for two for its turn. And then we're going to parry because that other one, since we're the closest, ooh, since we're the closest to that um that other neonate chrysalid of the team at least, they're likely to uh, go for Zephyr instead of anyone else. Damn! I was going to say someone better hit this bitch because if nobody hit, we was gonna have some serious problems with this whole team. I probably would have took them all out as soon as I could. Okay, what's next? I'm still not sure exactly where his rage is going to peak out at. 
which is probably an issue. But I guess we'll just have to deal with that issue when we get there, because frog out. I mean, that that's really all we can do is just wait till it happens. Because last time we got up to I think eight, and still nothing happened. Go ahead and take out this turret. All right. So the only thing left now is the neonate chrysalids. Or not the neonate chrysalid and the chrysalid, right? Is it a neonate? No, they're both. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a neonate. Uh, can we see Zephyr from here? Yeah, we can. Armored up. And then we'll take a shot on. What is that going to do damage to? Nothing. Okay. I guess we might as well take this shot here. Yeah, we had a pretty good chance. Ooh, and the crit too, with 76% chance. Uh, Godmother can move up to here. Do we want to be in the middle for this fight, or do we want to be off to one of the sides? I don't know. The middle will give us a uh, visual on, from all angles, but being off to one of the sides means that we're going to have to focus that on down? not that side. Not really sure. Alright, so we have to protect the control computer for three waves. So we'll bring uh, Zephyr back to the middle. We'll move. She's fine where she is now. We'll use preparation for her. Because she can't go into Overwatch. Uh, where are enemies coming in at? So there's enemies coming in right here. It's kind of annoying because he needs to reload, right? Right? How much ammo does he have? Doesn't really say. Do I want to get behind this thing? I don't. I'll get right here. Is psych up going to cost me an action right now? It doesn't look like it can even psych up though, so I'll just go into Overwatch on this door. And then for Cherub, we're going to do Kinetic Shield on Godmother because she's going to shoot. Why can we put two Kinetic Shields on her? Or maybe himself. No, let's give it to Godmother. A lot of her stuff is based on her uh, shotgun, the scatter shot, the flush, and uh, what else? Can his Overwatch even reach over there? It can't. So we'll just move him up to here. And now that entrance is un is not Overwatched, and of course we get two enemies through it. We also have to deal with this Andromeda too. We move. Ooh, and a defender. We want to take them out quick before they give a shield to the Andromeda, because that's going to be a real problem for us. Nothing came in over here. So do I leave Axe? I think I'm going to leave Axiom over there, actually. Uh, no, I want to see if I can get an angle with both of them on this. I can. So I'm going to do it. It looks like she might have a little bit of cover from the defender, too. Uh, she definitely doesn't have cover from the um, from the Andromeda, but she can go into parry. Hopefully it doesn't uh, exhaust the usage of parry. Oh, I could have moved her instead. That might have been better. But hopefully it doesn't exhaust the use of parry and um, the shield at the same time. That's the only thing that's going to annoy me at this point, is if both of those go at once. Alright, we have a 99% chance to hit. I only did four damage though. Kinetic shield, okay. That means Cherub is gonna get some charge up too. What is that? I think I guess the Andromeda tried to move away. Can't tell. Axiom though. I wonder if we can stay overwatching on this entrance. I don't want them to just be able to to swarm up too much. Okay, I got scared for a second. I forgot that. Well, I didn't forget that we had to protect this. I just didn't expect him to move up on it like that. I made the arrest. Right, get them out of here. Ooh, I should have dropped the shield on uh Turtling. on um Zephyr. Oh, okay. So that does work then. Approaching position. All right, cool. All right. So she did a little bit of damage on them both when they first came in. I can drop a turncoat grenade on both of them, and maybe they'll shoot at each other. Yeah. Throwing it's kind of a shame that she's standing right there, though. 
Because maybe I would have been able to get all three of them to shoot at each other. Hilarious. Okay. You're not... Hello? No? Okay, whatever. Hmm. The thing is, though, I might want to hit them instead. Because... Demolishing. They're rooted now. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll... We'll use... We'll use parry. That way she can also draw, draw in the shot. Okay, we'll have you reload now since you're out of ammo. Reloading. And then we're gonna use all of your ammo again immediately. To um hmm. We use ventilate on this Andromeda. Or the Defender. I think the Defender might be a better option here. Or the Guardian. I've been calling them the Defender. I think that's a different enemy. Okay. Didn't really kill. Not the worst that could happen there though. Yeah, that shit would definitely hurt if it hit. Low on ammo. You're berserk still. Okay, you're low on ammo, so I guess we could have you reload. I'm gonna have you continue to watch this Weapon door, full. though, because I just don't want something to come in and get a free shot. At this point, though, if nothing comes in, then we'll be able to move over and have him start actually assisting in this fight over here. You're also berserk, so you lose your turn. So we'll give a kinetic shield against the uh, Zephyr. Do you have a grenade? You have a plasma grenade that we can drop on both of them. Plasma out. Yeah, not with the lightning cans ability from his uh, gun. Wasn't trying to do that. Yeah, with the lightning cans ability, he now has a lot of damage that he can do because he can throw a grenade, take a shot with lightning cans, and then he can either use shield bash or take another shot. Uh. Which one is guaranteed to take them out? Okay, well that's less likely to take them out than this one. Okay, 99 chance to hit, four to five damage. If we get five damage, I think it's gonna kill. Yeah, okay, cool. St still can't tell why it's unconscious. Also being, oh my God, everything's coming through this entrance. So now we can rush over, but we can shamelessly rush over, uh, uh, what you call it? Ooh, we can get all of them from this position. Which means we'll also spread around. What? Hello? Okay, take the longest way there. Not really upset, necessarily. That's just weird. Okay, let's see what effects that they got applied. Weapon disabled, disoriented, weapon disabled. And then we'll just set you in parry now. Cover me while I reload. Again, you're gonna have to reload. Not bad. Reloading. Your ventilator's on cooldown. Can you reach with scattershot? You can't, but I think on your next turn, we'll have you use running gun. Oh wait, I can use running gun now. Take a action, take a, Moving okay. and shooting. Is this the angle we wanna get to though? Changing position. Cause we could, we might accidentally shoot, um. Okay, we should be fine then. We, okay. Okay, there is an angle. See, this is why playing with mouse and keyboard is probably better for this game because we can find these little angles that just barely work for what we want. So we dropped one of them. Ooh, is it their turn right now? That's gonna be a shame. Also, I don't know why it's giving us so many Andromeda if we did the thing that's supposed to not give us Andromeda. Untouchable, interesting. Don't know what that did. But now he can start making his way over to here. And we're probably going to use team up on our next character's turn. That way he can keep moving too. Looks like the defender's going to get their turn though. So they might be able to take a shot on the thing. Which we don't want. Getting low on ammo. Alright, we're going to team up with Axiom. Give a kinetic shield. Okay, you have a shield, Godmother has a shield. I'm gonna send Axiom into like this whole little area right here. So we're gonna give him the shield, and then you're gonna take a shot on the Defender, I think. Yeah, we might as well take the shot on the Defender. We have a pretty good chance to hit, and the other one is likely to shoot at it. 
Okay, we can use Smash now. And it's not. It looks like it's not gonna hit a teammate because it did. It would warn me if it was gonna hit a teammate. Ooh. So that did an extra two damage to them. That one's dead now, going into his robotic form. And then is he gonna take another swing? No. Okay. You're going to hit maybe them. No. Godmother has a chance to shoot at them next. So you're going to hit them. Hopefully we can root them, that way they can't, uh, ooh, that's even better. So, I guess that's the, that, that enemy's version of a stun since it's actually, um, a, a robot in this case. Alright, that works out. We haven't taken any damage yet, or if we have, it hasn't been too much, so. You can just take a shot on anything that's standing next to you, really. Uh, we'll take out the Guardian, that way they can't take that shot on... Down. On the uh the thing we're here to protect. Oh man, I'm out. We have a lot of people grouped up right now. The last person to get a shield, no. Uh, I guess does Axiom not have a shield? I could have swore he did. He does have a shield. So we'll give the shield to Cherub now. Protected from all angles. And now Cherub is gonna be able to take a shot. No. Okay, we'll use Shield Bash on number four. Five? No, we do it on number two. To hopefully keep number two from moving. Because if it, we have a lot of people grouped up right now. Well, they have it. But um what we're trying to do is keep them from um moving too much because everywhere they step now is going to drop acid. Okay. Oh yeah, you kicked because he walked up on you. Okay, so now again we can use smash. I don't think, again, that it's going to hit teammates, because if it does, we're going to do a lot of damage to ourselves. Okay. And then Zypher should be able to take out this last enemy. Smashing extremity. She, she got an acid burn. So yeah, that was pretty good overall. All this Andromeda, that was an issue. I don't see why we're getting so many of them. Especially if we did the, um, we tried to take the event that prevented Andromeda and not added them. I don't know, maybe it's a glitch in the game. Quilio Dash, in one word, can you describe the city council's relation with the Andromeda Sanctuary? And Mayor Nightingale, essentially, essential? Okay. Counselor Parada, trying. Counselor Vorthu, not in one word, but there's a human phrase that best sums it up. A real ship show. Interesting. Counselor Parada, close enough. From Channel 37 interview, uh, 2039, May 4th. Okay, so from the hostage rescue, we got $100. Interesting. I wonder if they City paid us or. City Andromedon Sanctuary passed along their gratitude for how you handled the situation. Great work. So does that mean we're done with Andromeda or not? Because again, we chose not to have them, and yet we're still getting them. Ooh, Axiom got to level up. You're back. Because you think I know the truth? Or because I'm familiar? Hmm? Entertaining! See, that's how it works. You trust the voice on the radio, then it asks you to do things. Little things. Interesting. You don't mind. The voice on the radio, it's your friend. You can give some leeway to a friend. You tell him, Floyd. You're the only one who knows the truth. Well, you know what? I don't. I know how we conquered your world. Telling you we knew the truth was a big part of that. So never listen to a voice on the radio that claims to know the truth. Instead, think for yourself. Okay. We might as well use this now. Coils cathedral. It's literally underground, drawing an immense amount of power from the city's grid. They aren't hiding anymore. Whatever they're powering up, we need to shut it down. Okay, so that sounds like this is going to be the end of Sacred Coil. Yeah, minus four in that district, take down Sacred Coil. So it looks like in the next episode we'll be taking down Sacred Coil. Clear that out. Um, I think we're safe to pull this down now too. That way it's not sitting up there so high. And then we're going to... I need that intel, so I'm going to do this also. I want to use a lot of these at the same time. 
Uh, this can keep going up though. I'm fine with that because it'll come down by four. So maybe we're going to wait until it gets up by four too. That's another option we have there. But in this one, we're going to go ahead. 3-1-PD has been unable to dis dismantle a lyrium smuggling ring in the city. We, If we help locate one of their safe houses, 3-1-PD will turn over the impounded contents to us. Okay. That's completed. Both of our spec ops are completed. And we finished the basic training. So we got a lot of stuff done in this uh, one little moment. So yeah, I think I'm fine with letting this go up to 4. In this mission, we can... A motile inducer don't know what that is or we can get some money here also our master crafted shotguns are done allow two agents to be assigned to training duty we don't necessarily need that just yet but I feel like it might be good to get because we are we should be able to get another agent soon especially if we're about to take down another um another unit or whatever, I can't really remember. Oh, free field team too. Should I do this now? No, I shouldn't because I'm going to end the episode. But yeah, so the free field team, we'll use that in the next episode. And then I'll try to remember to do the improved training. Uh, and then also we'll have the Mastercrafted shotguns to buy too. That's the last of her training. Does anyone else need to train? Uh, I know Claymore, Terminal... I don't think Godmother does. We know Cherub doesn't either. Zephyr doesn't. Axiom does. So Axiom's going to come off the team and go into his training. Ooh, armor increased by one also. And his mobility. So we're going to bring Axiom out to train him. Uh, we'll figure out whatever we're going to do in Spec Ops in the next mission. Try to remember to, imp to do the improved training again for the next person that comes in. Actually, that might be a waste. That's, that's definitely a waste, actually. Because Axiom is on his last piece of training. And no one else in the team has to train yet. So whoever's new, we can just put them through their rounds of training and then put them on the team instead of putting them in immediately. So yeah, I think we're going to switch that off and probably do um, either whatever. No, we're going to start something else now. I don't know yet. I don't think I want to do a weapon yet. Well, actually, we can do assault rifles because we do have two people who for sure have assault rifles. And then we have the Mastercrafted shotguns ready to buy also. Let me see. How much are those going to cost us? 200 that's not bad we have 600 right now so that's gonna be all for this episode then i guess uh thanks for watching next episode we're going to do something besides take down sacred core that's probably not gonna happen for uh it's probably gonna happen two episodes from now to be honest because in the next episode we'll probably do two missions and then i don't know whatever i'll see you next time don't forget to follow the social medias in the descriptions below there's a lot of different stuff in there i really don't use anything besides instagram for real i don't stream as much on twitch because i still have classes um that's gonna be all so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time